Hello and welcome everyone. It is time for me to talk comics. <laughs> Normally I'd say my top picks video, but as you all know, everything is uh, is pretty much shut down right now, which is a real bummer, man. I feel like we're living in a twilight zone. It's just bizarre. It's interesting times. That's all I can say. I hope uh, I hope you're all doing well and um, got lots to eat and all that kind of stuff. Uh, if you're like me, and I've watched a ton of stuff on Netflix. Uh, I even uh, did a bunch of chores around the house that the wife has wanted done for probably the past year and a half. I got all those done, and and now I'm going to do a comic video. So I was planning on doing a um, pulling out one of the boxes from my collections. I had a lot of people ask me to do that and just kind of go through that, but that this video would be really long because I'm going to kind of go through some of the books I picked up the last couple of weeks, and then I'll uh, talk about a few spec books and and something coming up on TV pretty quick. Um, and then the next video, I'll, I'll go into um, boxes for my collection, which will be kind of interesting. Haven't done that for, haven't gone through them for quite a while, so we'll see what's in them. But uh, anyways, I just want to make sure everybody's doing well and stay safe, everybody, and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm doing fine. I haven't put out, a, like I said, I haven't put a video out for a while. I just, uh, just kind of bummed with the whole situation. And I didn't, you know, I didn't really want to put one out, cause, considering that most places were shut down and everything else. So anyways, um... I'll talk about some of the stuff I picked up this this week, which was over the last two weeks. So you, I'm sure a lot of you've seen it, but I got two of these. Uh, I got Red Border from um, this AWA. It's their their first books that have come out. That one was pretty good. And man, if you read this Resistance, that was uh, kind of a creepy. Uh, with what's going on in the world right now, if it's the whole underlying plot of the story, it's just. Oh boy, that kind of hit home. That's a good book though, and the artwork is really good in there. That one's that's one I want to keep going with. So hope you got that resistance because that's uh, that's a pretty good one. Like I say, it all deals with a pandemic and everything else going on right now. So really bizarre. Um, I picked up my uh, Captain Marvel number sixteen, and I also got the cover B, which is that really nice Boss Logic. Man, is that a gorgeous cover? I um, I don't know if that's his first cover or not, but uh, his or her, I don't know Boss Logic, anyways, but. Man, is that a gorgeous cover. I love that one. That was really good. Um, Hellions got that. It's, uh, I don't know, it wasn't bad. I, I figured I'd, you know, I grabbed it, so I, I gave it a read. It wasn't terrible. Got my Valkyrie number nine. I thought there'd be a little bit more um, leading into that Black Winter stuff, but nothing really showing up with that. It was it was okay read, though. Road to Empire, picked that one up. Again, it was kind of a, a lead into that whole thing. Got star number three. I only grabbed cover A. I like that cover. And I also got um, Batman Beyond number 42. I have, I still have a sneaky suspicion that Constance Gustinov is going to be uh, showing up as a female version of Blight down the road. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's, I almost, well, I'm not going to bet on it, but I, I put a lot of money on it anyways. Um, I ordered this one a while ago. This was, uh, that's the one for 25, if I'm not mistaken. The Thor number four, that's your first appearance of Black Winter. I just like that cover. I thought it was kind of a cool cover, so got that one. Um, I picked up my, as you all know, I'm a huge Immortal Hulk fan. Grabbed copy of 33. I got that cover A. I got the um, kind of the homage cover. I love that Benick. Man, that's a good, I like that cover. That's a really nice kind of a retro cover. I got the one for 25 with uh, Zen. It's not the best cover, but I pre-ordered without knowing what the what is going to look like. I pre-ordered that one quite a while ago, so I got that one. I did get my Nightwing 70. Uh, I I say I get everything for cover price. I don't know why. I honestly don't know why <laughs> that one. The price went crazy on it, and I said at the time I, I have no idea. It's uh, it's a lead into Joker War. I get it, but I don't know. It was. Uh, I still got it anyways. And then, of course, I had to get my Batman 91. I got both uh, cover A and cover B. And I really like when, whenever we finally get it, the um, the, the Matina cover for uh, Joker 80th Anniversary one. It's got that little Joker fish up in the corner beside his head. Man, that looks really cool. I can't wait to get that one. Be interesting to see uh, Punchline's origin, that's for sure. Which is why, if you look at my background, I got this um, Batman De Con Detective Comics um, 948, and I'm going to forget, I forgot who, uh, damn it, I put it in my post, hang on one second. Oh yeah, to uh, Scalise Comics, I had to give him a shout out, because he, uh, he mentioned that to me a while ago. Now the funny thing is, I know Tinian has said that the punchline is a new character and all that, so I'm not saying that this character injured, but this was the first full appearance of Dr. Victoria October. 
um, she shows up in the book, and I talked about this a little while ago, um, posted about it and stuff too, so it's a good one to get. The interesting thing is she is the um, uh, foremost expert in post-human bioweaponry on the planet. She's transgender, which kind of ties into that whole, because Tinian, this Tinian was a writer of this, uh, and creator of that character, and it's kind of interesting that, um, I know he said that Punchline's a new character and everything else, but I'm wondering if, not so much that uh, Dr. October, um, I don't think in any way that she's Punchline, but what I'm thinking is that she may have had a hand in creating Punchline. I'm wondering if Punchline isn't a created character, like a bioweapon kind of a thing, so we'll, we'll find out. But I think that's a really, if you can find that in the dollar bin, totally worth picking up. It, there's no downside to it if you can get it for a buck or two. Um, but anytime you get a first appearance, especially when Tinian's the one that created her, I think that's really good. Uh, in the middle, I got Marvel Voices, uh, Marvel's Voices number one, because that's the uh, first cameo of Children of the Atom, and also first appearance of the Goddess Spider, so that is definitely a good book to get. Um, <clears throat> Ant Man number two is one. The only reason I got that out is I didn't, that was another one I picked up this week. I didn't get it, my shop didn't get it in for me when it came out. Oh, I can't, I can't remember, it was like a month ago or so. Um, and I asked him to get me one, so he's able to get me one. And that's the first appearance of the Macrothrax and the first full appearance of Vespa, Thread, and Tusk, who showed up in issue number one. So that's a really good one. And I'm gonna, so this is a big time spoiler alert. So if you are a Walking Dead fan and don't want to know anything about episode 14, which comes out tonight, stop the video right now. <laughs> so just so you know, because I don't want people saying, oh, you ruined the show for me. So again, if you don't want to know anything about Walking Dead one, uh, episode 14, it's on tonight. There's a first appearance coming up in there. So anyways, I'm going to show that now. So um, Walking Dead 171 is your first princess. And yep, she shows up in Walking Dead tonight. So if you've got that one, hang on to And I mentioned this a while ago that she was supposed to be uh, showing up, but she shows up tonight. There's an image on the screen. Um, uh, Calway's Comics sent me an image of that earlier today. And I'm like, oh, sweet. That's awesome, man. Thanks. Um, so yeah, if you've got uh, 171, hang on to it because it looks like she's showing up. And that which means if you follow the storyline, if you remember in um, uh, starting 176, they had that whole... Um, new story arc starting with a bunch of new characters and everything so it's very likely you're going to see a bunch of them showing up too um, I don't have those books with me right now but I did have I obviously bought them all so um, that's it for you folks it's kind of a shorter video I was just going to kind of touch on some of the stuff I got this week I just want to say I hope everybody's staying well and staying safe don't go stir crazy it'll all end at some point and we'll all be back to buying boatloads of comics and everything else i just really hope my shop opens up again when this all ends and i don't have to go to online because that would really suck i mean try to support your um your local store if you can i mean i know a lot of stores are still open for online stuff if you can if you can support them that way that would be great because i know a lot of them i mean that's that's their bread and butters are, is people coming in and buying stuff so that's what i'm trying to do i i um i support my shop as long as he's open and I'll continue to do that, but if he doesn't open, then I'll have to go somewhere else. But anyways, take care, everyone. Uh, I'd like to say happy hunting, but uh, unless you're doing it online, there's no hunting anymore right now. So <laughs> anyways, take care. Talk to you later in the week. Bye for now.